Hi, I'm Lana, and I know that you're excited to get your housing assignment and to make your home on the hill. To remind you how to access it, please go into the housing portal and click on View My Room Assignment. As you're looking at your room assignment on this page, just know that the details are there for your residence hall, the hall code and room number, the letters A and B indicate left side of the room for A and right side of the room for B, and the terms double or private indicates how many students are in the room. Doubles are for two students, privates are for single. Go ahead and select into you that assignment. On this page is where we would really like for you to confirm or cancel, letting us know if you're coming to WKU. It's an important step of the process, so click on the drop down menu and choose confirm your room assignment still attending WKU. Even if you think you might request some type of change to that assignment, let us know that you're coming. The other option is, of course, to cancel your housing. Students who aren't attending WKU at all or who are just choosing to commute from home may need to choose that option. Additional things on this page are your roommates. Students' name is listed as well as their phone number. And so we'll talk a little bit in a moment about what you should do to contact your roommate. So after you've made your choice, go ahead and select Save and Continue. Depending on how late in the summer it is, we will give you an option here to request changes if we think we have time to do so. So in the drop down menu, there are four options. We hope that you love your assignment, so if you do, go ahead and just choose Accept That Assignment Because I Love It. We don't have a lot of room for privates for incoming new students, but we do go ahead and take your request just in case there is an extra cost associated. The other two most popular requests are for moving you based on your original living preferences that you indicated on your housing application. These are, for example, needing extended living or wanting to live in a different style of residence hall. The final option is to move me based on who I would like my roommate to be. So choose whatever works for you and click on in to save and continue. The other things that we suggest doing, of course, is to go ahead and call that roommate. We recommend that you get to know them as much as possible. This can be a little scary, but it is one of the best ways to connect before getting to WKU. Things that we recommend talking about is what would you like to have in your room? And who would like to bring what items if you plan on sharing? We have a helpful move-in guide that will let you know exactly what you need to bring for your room and some tips on what to bring at home. So by going to our website and clicking on resources, you'll find our move-in guide. We encourage you all to maybe go through the move-in guide together as topics to discuss as you get to know your roommate. Remember, texting and calling are great, but we recommend when it comes to social media to not judge a book by its cover. You might be surprised to find out how much you have in common with someone who, at first glance, may seem a bit different from you. Give your roommate a chance and you might just find a great roommate relationship. Also, if you can't seem to get a hold of your roommate, remember that some people spend the summer traveling or working and can't always respond right away. Do you still have questions? Don't hesitate to contact our housing office at 270-745-4359 or email hrl at wku.edu. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter by using our tag at wkuhrl. We can't wait for you to make your home on the hill at WKU.